Hi everybody! Today I want to show you how I made these textured paintings using acrylic paints and glue. I came up with this idea because I wanted to have a project that we could do for Valentine's Day that was easy enough for kids to do too. And this was it. I absolutely enjoyed doing this project and I know the kids will love doing it too. I love the fact that it's textured and from an angle you can really see the texture a lot. Uh, it's it made it even more fun than just painting a regular picture. My boys loved this picture the best. They thought it was colorful and very eye-catching. They picked this one as their favorite. I, however, picked this one as my favorite because, for one, it matches my bedroom. <laughs> and another, it has the two dandelions and the seeds, which are seeds of love blowing in the wind. I just love that idea. That was a fun one to come up with. But I, I wanted it to be different than just a regular painting. So that's why I love the idea of using the glue. And when I found this idea on Pinterest, they said to use the Elmer's glue. And it actually did not turn out as good as I thought it would with the Elmer's glue. The Elmer's glue kind of dried flat. So I redid it. When you do your project, use the tacky glue. Don't use the Elmer's glue. The Elmer's glue did not hold its form. Um, so that's the pointer that I really want to get to you so that it makes your project a whole lot easier and you don't have to wait for your glue to dry a couple times before you figure it out. <laughs> that would have been good for me to know before I did this project. <laughs> so let's get started. Here's what you will need. Tacky glue, canvas, acrylic paint, and paint brushes. You also might want to use some paper towels. The beautiful thing about this project is if you mess up or decide you don't like your first idea, you can wipe off the glue and start again. Try to squeeze your glue out as evenly as you possibly can. You can also use words or quotes to make your picture extra special. Be sure to have fun with it and your project will turn out beautiful. Place a paper bag or newspaper under your picture before painting. I let my glue dry overnight before I painted it. Your painting will turn out much less lumpy than mine did if you use tacky glue. I had to give mine a couple coats of glue to learn what worked. Make sure you paint around all the edges of your glue really well. I gave my paintings two coats of paint. Now comes the super fun part. I painted on or inside of my glue artwork to make my design stand out more. Here is another tip. Make sure your glue is totally dry before painting. If you paint the glue while it is wet under the surface, it may crack the paint. I had slight cracks on parts of this painting because it was not 100% dry when I painted it. The final touch on this painting was to give it a green edge with my fan brush. I love how this project turned out. I think these paintings will make great gifts too. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint my paintings today. I hope it encourages you to give it a try too because it is a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!
Happy Valentine's Day, everyone!